Hey everybody, it's Danielle once again with Inspire Me to DIY. And did you look at the post I put out eh, a couple hours ago with the materials for this project? Did you guess? I saw this project on Pinterest and fell in love with it. The only thing is, is you can't use them for cooking. There's something that belongs in the kitchen, but you can't use it for cooking. Because what I'm going to use is acrylic paint, which isn't food grade paint. I bought these five bamboo, yeah, five bamboo different kind of spoons. And we're going to paint these up to look like flowers. And then put them in their little vase. And they'll, oh, they'll be so colorful and beautiful. And it's something that you can display in the kitchen really all year long. Like I said, I found this on Pinterest, and I'm a little out of my comfort zone with this, so I'm not good at freestyle painting. I usually have to have a drawing and have it all ready to go, but we're going to fly by seat of our pants today. I'm going to put down some paper towels because I forgot to get newspaper. See, that's where I am today. Do you love the shirt? It says, The Cool Mom. My, my kids act absolutely died laughing when I showed it to them, but I thought it was so awesome. So today I'm the cool mom because tomorrow is Mother's Day and I can be whatever kind of mom I want as long as I'm kind and nice. Let's start. I have so many different kinds of paintbrushes that I pulled for this project. None of these are, are my oil brush paint brushes because I don't want to use acrylic with oil brush brushes oil paint brushes. It doesn't work well. These are watercolor and acrylic brushes, so make sure if you're going to do this project that you don't use oil brushes because they're insanely expensive and you're going to mess them up. So, I'm, oh, I don't know which one I want to start with. I'm so excited. I know how to paint sunflowers, so I'm going to try to paint a sunflower on this one. I bought at Walmart, they have all of their apple barrel paints on sale. Well, it's not on sale. Normal price, 50 cents each. So every time I go, I like to get at least 10 of them, five bucks, and I try to get all one color. Like I'm going to get um, five different or 10 different pinks. Everyone's different. So I'm doing this going through Walmart a couple days ago, and I'm doing this, and I'm trying to hold on to all of them because. I didn't bring a cart, and even if I did, these fall through, fall through the little holes of the cart, so it doesn't work well anyways. But I found this crate, oh, I just knocked all my paints over, but I found this crate, I think it was another $5, and I thought, you know, this is kind of cool. I'm going to put, like, all my pinks in one, all my greens in one. I'm going to get different ones, stack them, and then write the color on the, on the outside. Always looking for ways to store my my materials. I have so many craft materials. Sunflowers. So I pulled three different kinds of yellow, and I think I think I'm gonna go. This one might be a little too bright, so I think I'm gonna go with those two. And then I didn't pull a brown for the center, so I'll have to. Try to mix something for that. Normally I use a brown. Let's, ah, uh, I store them upside down because sometimes if they get halfway full and then they get dried up, they stick at the bottom and then you can't get it out. So storing it upside down actually helps. Okay. Wow, those two colors look really close, don't they? Oh no, it was a little lighter. So let's tr let's work on it. Really out of my comfort zone today, so we'll see how this goes. I want. What do I want? I'm gonna try mixing a little red in there too. Give it a little bit more orangish. I do so much stuff in my head. I, it, it's hard for me to say. Okay, now we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do that because my head's going a mile a minute trying to think of what we're going to do. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ah. All right, I'm just going to do a petal. Oh, that's not too bad. 
do some petals around. I was gonna make a giant, oh, giant sunflower, but I think I'll just make a smaller one and then do a whole bunch of stuff around the back. Okay, and I'm gonna mix in a little red with that just to give it a little dimension. Oh no, it's gonna be one of those days where I sing everything. What do you think? Eh, it's a start. I'm gonna mix a little, um, because I don't have brown, I'm gonna mix a little black in there. Just, and when you're mixing black and white with colors, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So I'm gonna mark some red over here and I still have yellow in my brush. Put a little black in there. Ah, got me some brown. Perfect. All right, so let's do some brown on the inside. And I'm just gonna do a series of dots to look like sunflower seeds. And this doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> That's definitely not perfect. You need one of those crates? I'm telling you, five bucks at Walmart, perfect. I'm having issues trying to paint sideways so you guys can see what I'm doing. Did you get to see the painting that I did with the mason jar? That was a, a piece somebody asked me to make for them, for their mom for Mother's Day. And I drew it all out. Actually, I draw everything out and get it just the way I want and then use carbon paper or scribble on the back with a pencil, put it on my project and draw it out. So at least I'm not flying by the seat of my pants because I'm not, I'm just not good at that. Okay, I'm gonna get, I have three glasses of water because I don't know how many colors I'm gonna get mixed up here. So I'm gonna to try to keep them, like all my reds, yellows over here, maybe my blues and my greens or some pinks or, yeah, I'll do the pinks in there, who knows? All right, so I'm gonna do some polka dots. There we go. And I think I might just fill it in with different shapes. I kind of like that. I'm going to fix that flower a little bit when it dries some. But see, there's no rhyme or reason to this. What do you think? I'll turn it this way. Kind of cool. Not too bad. Let's put some different colors in there. I'm gonna wet my brush. Let's see, what do I want? Doo -doo -doo. Let's do some turquoise. Aqua, this is Acapulco. Woohoo! We can all pretend we're on vacation. And maybe a little purple, which is purple iris. Again, it's just pulling colors I think might work. Let's see. I have a whole roll of paper towels here too, just in case. Just in case. Oh, I might have a little bit too much water on my brush. What do you, what do you think? Oh, I like the turquoise. And I think if I take like this turquoise and put a little bit on the next one and like have the same kind of color pattern throughout, my my flowers, my wooden spoon flowers will bl uh, blend or work better with each other. Okay, let's see. These are bamboo, which I was worried that they wouldn't paint up well. Oh, some of my turquoise ran into my flower, into my sunflower. I'm such a perfectionist that when something doesn't work out, I get frustrated and I want to just start over. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right. So I'm going to add some polka dots then along with my red. And another good way to do polka dots is to use the 
the, the, not handle, what is it? Yeah, I guess it's a handle of the brush and you will get all kinds of polka dots. And I think I'm gonna fill it in as much as I can with the different colors, just to give it something different. <laughs> this is so crazy for me because I am just not used to throwing paint on stuff. But you know, if you just don't take yourself so seriously by having to have everything perfect, trust me, I'm really good at, at that, trying to have everything perfect. And enough to know that nothing is perfect but God, so I'm, I'm trying for not. Oh, I like that purple in there. And I'm putting it on rather thick, so I'm gonna have to make sure that it's dry before I tilt it, because that might all run into each other. So for Mother's Day, since my babies don't live around here, we are going to go junkin'. Have you ever been junkin'? You go, it's a junk festival, like a giant flea market, but some of it's antique, some of it's just junk, and hardly ever buy anything, but I have so much fun looking. So my girlfriend and I are gonna go and hang out at the junk festival. I need another purple in there. Okay, so I got purple, turquoise, Red, yellow, what do I need, what do I need? Let's do a little white in there, just to brighten it up a little bit. And I use my white a lot to fix my mistakes. Okay, so I have a little turquoise on my brush, but mixing it with the white, I think that's gonna be really pretty. Oops, I wanna do the polka dots. No, I like it just white because I already have the turquoise in there. So let's do that. Oh, way better. Way better. In fact, I like the polka dots better than I like the flower. I love bamboo utensils because it does not soak up it doesn't stain. So if you are doing um, spaghetti sauce, it wipes right off and it does not stain the wood. Okay, so what do you think? That's just one, one thing there. I'm gonna let that dry while I pull up another, another one. Now these all have, this one's kind of solid, but the rest of these are all kind of holy. Holy. I'm gonna do a series of dark blue and light blue polka dots. Let's see, <laughs> I just got paint all over the outside of my glass. So the light blue I wanna use is called Cloudless. I really like that color. It's almost like a sky blue. All right, so I'm just gonna do dots all over. And it might it might be good to do, um, paint, paint your utensils white first. So then um, the colors really, really pop. What do you think? Oh, not too bad. It, it looks kind of blah right now, but I'll, I'll show you. And I think I'm gonna go down the handle a little bit with this. I'm just blotching it around. Oops, almost went into my aqua. I saw this on Pinterest, and if you look it up, I think it was just wooden spoons made into flower bouquet or something like that. And I plan on painting the backs and everything once I um, get the fronts dry, 
and I might do that on video, but we'll see. I like, ooh, I like doing that while it's still wet. Look how it mixes. That is so pretty. I got my dog here in my side, but he's not so interested in this. Not like last week with the lavender. He loved that. He has a dog bed that um, the cover zips off. So I put the lavender sachets on the inside of the cover, so on his on his bed. So when he sleeps, he's got he's got his lavender smell. He loves it. Ooh, that is pretty. I like that a lot. I think I'm just going to do the whole thing those two colors. Try to fill it in as much as possible. I like how it blends. Nice. I don't know what it is about polka dots that I love so much. Maybe because they just, they look happy. <laughs> happy polka dot. It's like the happy trees. Oh, that's looking pretty good. I don't want to cover up my turquoise too much because I really want that dimension. But I want to fill in as much of the wood as I can. And I think what I don't fill in with these two colors, I'm going to do with white. Almost done. Okay. Oh, guys, that's so pretty. That's very pretty. So I'm not gonna clean off my brush. I'm just gonna swipe it a little bit, get some white on there so it all mixes and put white in where the wood is still showing. I bought my vase to put the, the flowers in at Walmart also because I didn't have a just the vase I was looking for. And this one's okay, but it's, eh. I can use it for other things though. And this was five, no, this was $11 and some odd cents. And it came with, oh, it came with this really neat wooden lid. So it's kind of pretty. So I'm gonna definitely use that for other things, maybe dog treats. You never know. <laughs> All right, let me finish this one up so then we can start on the next one. I've My head's already gone on to the next one trying to think what I'm going to make. What do you think, Carl? Are you over it? I have it, the living room blocked off so he cannot get in there because he likes to go in front of the window and B-A-R-K. So we try to make that not happen. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, guys, I think this is beautiful. What do you think? I love that one. I'm going to let that dry. So I have two of them drying. Hold on a second. Hey, you need to go. Ugh. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay, so maybe I'll use the center of this one as the center of the flower. <laughs> Carl, you are a caution. You really are. I'm going to try that sunflower one more time because I really didn't like how the other one looked. So let's go in here. And I'm just going to make great big petals. Oops. Kind of like that. So I'll do that all the way around. And I'm not going to put them real close together right now because I'm going to put um, different petals in between, but they're going to, I mean, same petals, different color. I love it. That That's the kind of flower I was hoping for. That first one, yeah, kind of wonky. But I think once you get all of these together, they're going to be so beautiful. 
I'm always trying to come up with new ideas to do as um, a craft because I, I just love trying new things. That is way better, don't you think? I like that one a lot. Mm. Karen, I hope you have a happy Mother's Day. Hey, Carl, Karen says hi. He says hi. <laughs> He's such a goofy dog. Yep, I can't believe it's Mother's Day already. It's like time just zooms past. All right, I'm gonna try to put a little brown in there. That brown that I made up. See if I can get that, eh, sort of. If I was you guys though, I would actually go and get a container of brown paint instead of trying to make up your own because I forgot mine. Oh, that's not so bad. What do you think of that little bit of brown in there? Gives it a little bit of um, definition. And I'm just kind of like polka dotting it in there. Just a little pat. There. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely doing that on the other side too. Okay. Clean that off and I am gonna add a little bit of red, I think, in there. Mm, well, maybe some... I gotta do um, petals in between. Maybe the light yellow. Even though it's in the back, it should, the light yellow should have been in the front because the light would be in the front, but eh. That's really lemony. Lemony. Oh, let's get some of that off. Oh, well, you know what? I can probably make these look like they're in the front. And the ones I just did look like they're in the back. We'll see. And they are mixed in with the other colors. So it's kind of cool that way. Oh my goodness. All right, two more. And let's try this one. <gasps> I love it. Look at that. I like that a lot. I am going to mix a little bit of that orange with the yellow that's on my brush. And you notice I'm mixing it off to the side and not right in the, the paint. That way I can get all these different variations, these different colors. And I mixed a little red in there too. So now I have a darker orange. And I'm going to just go up the center of those little um, petals I just made. Ugh. Now I'm getting excited. Now I'm liking how this looks. In the beginning, I'm like, I'm so scared. What do you think? <gasps> I love that. Thank you, Becky. I think this is, it's turning out way better than I thought. Thank you for all those likes. Yay. I'm going to put some green leaves on this. So I'm going to need different, different brush. I wish I had, oh, here we go. I wish I had more of the smaller ones. This is a six round. This one is a two that I just did the petals with. And then this one's a four. So this one's like the biggest one of all, but I'm gonna do some leaves. And I, I'm gonna put some of my greens over on this plate. I don't really wanna mix those. I try not to use a lot of paint it's only 50 cents, but I do a lot of painting projects, so I don't want to just put a bunch of paint on a plate and then throw the plate away. Oh, that's some thick green. I'm going to mix a little water with that last green, because that was pretty thick. Normally, when I paint something and I'm going to have different, like three different shades of green, I'm going to start with my middle green and then I'm gonna put highlights and lowlights with my lighter and darker green. 
So let's start with that middle green, which is this one right here. I'm gonna dry that up a little. This one right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put some big leaves right here. And put another one over here. Put some down here. Sunflowers have a lot of leaves. Put some maybe down the handle and maybe one over there. What do you think? It's kind of bland right now, but we're going to um, put in the highlights and the lowlights. And I really do need a smaller brush for that. So let's, let's use our two, number two round. I like working with rounds. It's just easier for me. I know some people would rather do the flat brushes like these, or um, I don't even think I have a good filbert out here. Filbert is, um, it's like a flat, but it's got a rounded end on it. I don't even think I have one out here. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. I don't use those a lot with acrylics anyways. Okay, so let's make my sunshine coming from this way. A little of the, the lighter color. And mix it a little so it's not so like a giant stripe. Okay, and then I'm, oh, green. And then I'm gonna go with my darker. a little over on the edge. I got it mixed with a lot of water. So let's see if I can uh, fade that in a little. Okay. Yay! OMG, Becky! Look! Oh my gosh, I love that. That is turning out really good. I think this one's my favorite one so far. I'm just gonna let that dry. So I've got three of them drying. I have this one, which I think I'm gonna fix somehow, but I love all the polka dots. Isn't that great? And then I have this one, which, oh my gosh, I do like how that, and I think it's gonna blend well, but I'm definitely gonna need to paint the back. And then of course this last one I painted, which by far is my favorite. So let's let those dry. Two more. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Try to figure out what I'm going to do with these. <sighs> Maybe paint little flowers all over it. Let's, let's try it. What do we got to lose, right? If you don't like it, paint over it. Okay, I'm going to do, because it's my favorite, I'm going to do turquoise. And I'm just going to do dots. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. So I got five dots like that and let's just put, I'm going to do a bunch of those and then I'm going to put a different color in the center so it will look like a field of tiny flowers. And I'm just haphazardly putting them all over, but I'm doing five dots for each. Four, five. And I think I might do a dark blue, oops, for the center. Maybe. I like, I need to make these dots bigger because they're too small. Okay. Make some more over here. I guess the secret is, is don't get too serious with yourself because they're all going to be in a jar all together, so they'll look good. And if it bugs you too much, redo. Just, you can sand it off or paint over it. Okay. Oh, I still need more. I'm going to put some that looks like they're just half off of the edge. See? So it doesn't look so uniform. Okay, so there I go, just five dots all over the place in a circle, and I am going to use my purple, I think. 
and I did not clean off my brush, so my purple can get a little mixed in with there. And I'm just gonna, oh guys, love it. Hold on. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, let's do a little bit more. And I have them kind of haphazardly on there. So it looks like they're actual wildflowers. Because when you see wildflowers out in the field, they're everywhere. They're not all lined up in rows like we like to plant things. Okay. Almost there. And I think I'm going to paint the background a color. There. I like that. What if I paint the background dark blue? Hmm. Let's try it. I have a bunch. I'm going to dry my brush really good, though, because I'm going to have to try to get around some really wet paint. There we go. Oh, yeah. like this a lot. And I'm just going around each flower like that. I think that's going to be really pretty. I have a tendency to mix colors that don't normally go together. And sometimes it looks amazing and sometimes not so much. But it's always a learning, a learning curve for me. A lot of times... <laughs> when I was a little girl and I tried to put my outfits together, ask my, well, you can't ask my mother, but when I go to heaven, I'm going to ask my mother how embarrassed was she by some of the stuff I wore. My sister can vouch for the fact that I was no fashionista. Still, I have trouble figuring out what to put together. If I like it and I think it's cool, I'll wear it. But a lot of times it's definitely not, not the height of fashion. But you can't do too wrong with jeans and a t-shirt, no matter what the t-shirt is. Even if it's the cool mom t-shirt. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, goodness, guys. I think, I think that's going to turn out really pretty. Oh, I do. I like that a lot. I love getting together with you guys on Saturdays. I really miss hanging out with girlfriends and doing crafts. I love being creative. Even if the thing doesn't turn out and I wind up throwing it in the garbage, I still have fun making it. I'll try to go a little faster with this because I'm sure this is boring as all get out. Watching me paint around these flowers. I don't think I could have painted the background first and then done the flowers because I don't think the flowers would have painted over been as bright. So I kind of like the way this turned out. Did you see my videos, uh, or no, my reels, i got to get the word right, of the um, Mother's Day gifts I got from my two kids? Oh my gosh, a paint, a watercolor paint set from my son, uh, professional watercolors, they're really nice, and um, it, the, it came with the paper, it came with special... Um, I forgot what they're called, but you fill the pen with water and then you use your colors that way instead of having like your glass of water. I've never tried that, so I'm excited to do that. And then the um, set of a, th a thousand, <laughs> a hundred, I think it's a hundred gel pens. That's a lot. And some of them are glitter gel pens. And I got that from my daughter and I'm super excited to try those. 
my kids know that I like to create. And it's so awesome that they buy me things for Mother's Day that's just, just for, you know, because they, they know it's something that I love a lot. So personalized. Wait, what do you guys think? Yeah, I know. My kids are so darn sweet. Even though um, my son is now older than I am because uh, he's, <laughs> he's going to be 39 this year. So, geez, he's going to be four years older than me. I, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, if you guys have uh, seen my post in the past, you know I just in February turned 60. I always thought 60 was so old when my mom was 60, but you know, it's not so bad. Nothing uh, earth shattering changed. So that's good. But I do, when I look in the mirror, I, I see my mom looking back. Scary. Oops, I think I covered. I might have to go over that one piece again. Stop it. I love that. Oh, I do like that. that. I think this one is my second favorite. But I bought these um, utensils. One, two, three. Five pieces for five bucks. And you cannot... You cannot beat that. This project is fun. It takes some creativity, some thinking outside of the box. And you have a really pretty art piece when you're done. And if, um, if you're making this for your mom, why don't you, and if you have sisters or brothers, everybody get together and paint one. And then you can put it Put it in the vase or a jar, and Mom has a whole bouquet of flowers from her kids. And these flowers don't die. Yay! All right. Almost there. There we go. I work in the schools, and I'm so excited that school is almost out hot dog because this has been quite the year let me tell you so super happy <laughs> that summer is here or it's coming anyways it's here in florida i mean it's we already have the humidity and the heat but that's why i moved here because that's what i like I'm trying to hurry, y'all. I am trying. I think I'll get as far as down here, and then I'll just stop. But look at it. Aww. All right. Hmm. I was going to mix a different color to go down the handle, but I don't think that'll look right. And, you know, you can paint the whole handle if you want. I mean, there is no rules to this. I think I'm going to paint one with, uh, have you seen the how you do the swirly roses? I would love to, I'd love to try that, but this is the only one I have left, so I don't know if I can do that with the holes. Our kids are older than we are. I'm telling you. I don't know how this happens, but my son has, he's skated past me four years ago. And my daughter is my, is my age now. <laughs> she is 35. Almost there. I know I said that before, but look, I am there. Maybe. Ta-da! Yay! 
I love that. So we have, put that in with the blues. We have that, we have this one, we have this one. See if I can, and this one. Oh, wow, these are kind of go, they kind of go together. Thank you, I love these. So let's do the last one to see if I can do the swirly rose thing. Maybe. I don't have a lot of pinks out here. In fact, I don't have any pink. And I pulled all these pink colors. This is more peachy pink. And then I have eraser or pink eraser. <laughs> That's a funny name. And what is this one here is Diva Pink. Oh, oh darling. Oh, it's pretty. Can you see? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's see if I can pull it off doing my swirly rose. Oh, I got a lot of blue in that brush yet. That will not mix with pink well. There we go. And I again, I'm going to start with my medium pink, which I think is this one. Actually, my, this is my brighter pink. And I'm just going to do a, a swirl like that. Let's do a couple of them. And you see there's no rhyme or reason. Just doing it around. So I got those. Let's do one here so it looks like it's been cut off by the um, the slats in there. And it looks like I need one over here. All right, so now I'm going to mix my darker pink do some Ugh, that's too close in color all right then mix the light pink see if that doesn't oh that's better so it's a little swirly rose you see that I like it I like it really pretty look at that I think it needs some green leaves in there dang I didn't expect it to turn out that nice you know what I need I need a smaller brush here's one I like it because it's got the real pointy tip on there I'm gonna do the darker green see if I can do some leaves Still too big of a brush. Oh, guys, love it. Now, if you don't want to do flowers, if you want to do like polka dots and stripes and all different things like that, I think that would look phenomenal also. So, let's get a different, let's get the lighter green on there. I get my brushes from all over. These here with the blue was from um, Joanne Fabrics. My brown handled ones, all of these are from Amazon. And then, um, oh, I have little, like these no, it's the same one. These little green handled ones, those are from Michaels. 
and I even have some from Walmart. I don't think I have them out here though. So I have them from everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna do a little of this lighter green off here. Just do some swatches. Wow, wow, that's pretty. That turned out way better than I thought. Ah, surprise. So, you can paint the backs of them. You can just paint the front like I did. I am going to go back and paint the back the back of them. I still don't like that first one I did, so I'm going to fix that. I am trying to be careful not to have them touching each other. Because uh, they're still wet. So, here we are. Aren't these pretty? These are going to be so cute in my kitchen. So if you want to make them for your mom or you and your sisters or friends get together and want to paint this, throw on my video and we can do this together. I would love that. If you decide to make painted wooden spoons, please take a picture of them and send them to me. I would, I would love to post them on my site. Thank you for watching today. We only took ah, 45 minutes. Not bad, and we got five spoons. Stay, stay. Try not to get them to touch each other. I am fixing this one up. I'm gonna redo it, but look at that. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Sally. I try. This was a fly by the seat of your pants kind of project, but it turned out okay. I'm, I'm actually really happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, hit the little follow at the top. If you're already following me, check out my blog. I've got so many, don't touch. I got so many new things on the blog, different um, things for spring, different things that I've done in my home to um, just make it prettier for a lot less money than you would if you hired somebody. And um, you'll see the antics of my dog and my cat and I would just love to have you come over and chat with me. So thank you so much for watching today. Happy Mother's Day. If you're a dog mom, a plant mom, a kid mom, a step mom, a spiritual mom, just um, any kind of mom. I, I think if you're female, you're pretty much mom because there's something in your life that you've taken care of. That's just what we do as women. So thank you so much for watching today, and I loved every minute of it. I hope to see you again next Saturday. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>